In this experiment, we use the rotating tank to investigate the two key ingredients to the general circulation of Earth's atmosphere, rotation and differential heating. We have our rotating tank set to a slow rotation rate of around one rotations per minute to represent the tropical atmosphere where rotation is weak. We have a metal cylinder in the center of the tank, which we fill with ice. This then sets up a temperature gradient that is analogous to the differential heating we see on Earth, where the pole is colder um, than the equator regions. And so here our pole is at the center of the tank and our equator is at the edges of the tank in the analogy. We add some water to our ice bucket to help it conduct and make sure that there's no air pockets between the ice cubes. And so that then cools the water near the tank, near the cylinder inside the tank. After giving it a few minutes to let a temperature gradient develop, we insert some paper dots to let us view any flows that develop. Looking here from the rotating camera view on the top of the camera, again, the center, this would be as if we were looking down on the top of the Earth where the North Pole is in the center and the equator is at the size of the tank. As we can see, our paper dots have started to move around in a circulation. We can also insert potassium permanganate, which sinks to the bottom and allows us to view the flow at the bottom of the tank, which would be analogous to Earth's surface. As you can see, the potassium permanganate crystals didn't sink straight down. They had a bit of an arc to them, and that is because there is a circulation that has caused them to drift. We also inserted some green dye so that we can view the flow in the interior of the tank. As the green dye sinks, it is invected around by our cyclonic circulation, and we see, if we pause here for a second, this beautiful corkscrew pattern that has formed in the green dye. And this is reflecting the fact that the, that the flow is different speeds at different depths in the tank. We also on the inset here have our view from the top camera. We can see that our potassium permanganate crystal is starting to move outwards at the bottom. And so a circulation has developed here analogous to the Hadley circulation where the cold water near the center of the tank is sinking down and then flowing um, outwards at the bottom of the tank. Then at the edges of the tank, the flow rise, the warm, relatively warmer water rises up and then moves back inward at the top of the tank and towards the center. But this is superimposed on this is a cyclonic circulation. So a circulation in the same direction as the rotation, um, which would be analogous to our subtropical jet. We see here from this kind of angled view, again, we can see how the purple dye, the potassium manganate at the bottom has gone outward, um, indicating that outward flow from the center to the edge of the tank at the surface. And again, our green dye indicates this sheared pattern in our cyclonic circulation. This is a balanced circulation. There's a balance between the axisymmetric circulation and this meridional temperature gradient that has developed consistent with thermal wind balance in this slowly rotating setting. After giving it more time to set up, we really see how that purple dye at the bottom has really expanded outward from its original location. And we have this nice um, jet pattern indicated with the green dye, again, with that nice corkscrew pattern as it sinks down to the surface. The colored dots we see moving around, again, indicating that tropical jet. And so this is a really great analogy for this general circulation of the atmosphere in which we have this overturning thermally direct circulation and a zonal cyclonic circulation that is in thermal wind balance with the meridional temperature gradient. You can see now that the potassium permanganate is actually starting to rise upwards at the edges of the tank reflecting that upward branch of our overturning circulation.
Now at the end of the experiment, we turn off the rotation, but of course the water in the tank still has momentum associated with it, so it now continues spinning and appears to be moving quickly in this rot in the view from the camera mounted on top of the tank, which itself is no longer rotating.